sweaty and sloppy after cleaning, I met my new hot neighbor. Hey, hi. I guess we haven't met. I'm Steve. Hi, um... I, uh, um... <laughs> I got lost in his beautiful eyes and forgot my name. <gasps> I only snapped out of it when he huh? awkwardly tried to free his beautiful <gasps> hand from my clammy and dirty palm. What's that smell? Oh, I knew what it was. My trash. I tried to twist the bag as tightly as possible. <gasps> Sorry, I'll tidy everything up. Burning with shame, I rushed to shovel the trash away from him. <gasps> Sorry, neighbor. I am in a hurry. But I'll owe you a cup of coffee if you do it by yourself. I must have misheard him. Steve wanted to have coffee? With me? After everything I have done there? Did he really like me? <laughs> hmm. The beautiful girl waiting for him at the entrance quickly brought me back to reality. Hmm? Where the hell have you been? We are late. I fiercely hoped that she was his sister or cousin until Steve kissed her. I looked at the gorgeous couple with envy, dreamed of being in that seductive girl's place at least once. I wondered what it's like when any guy... No. The whole world is at your feet. I didn't get an answer. Because I was hit by a garbage truck. I woke up in the emergency room. The doctor said I only suffered a mild concussion. Still, I stopped listening to him. Because standing next to me was Steve. He seemed very happy when I regained consciousness. As it turned out, Steve took me there. Actually, his <gasps> girlfriend Chrissy did. Can we go now? See, she's alive. Our table reservation will expire. I tried to understand why such a cool guy cared about a plain Jane like me. That is, hmm? until I saw myself in the mirror. Perfect beauty with a great body was staring me back. Oh my god! Is that me? Oh. Due to the concussion, I couldn't remember. Was I always that beautiful? <laughs> or did something happen to me? It didn't matter because my life completely changed. Man only used to look at my butt when I accidentally landed on bird droppings which happened way too often, but not this time. Now, men admired my attractive mm -hmm. curves. And even uh, hit on me. Um, Ma'am, you have... I know. <laughs> cool, right? Do you want my phone number? This guy was just <laughs> as shy as I used to be and started making excuses. So I decided not to torture him. I just wrote my number on his hand. Call me. When I got home, I dove into the bowels of my wardrobe to find the rarest piece of my body, a miniskirt. I used to be embarrassed of wearing it because of my crooked legs. But its time had come. I burst into the club like a queen. After all, the bouncer let me in ahead of the line for the very first time. Unfortunately, it was quite dead inside. And I really wanted to party. I had to take matters into my own hands. Half an hour later, people were having fun on the dance floor as if there was no tomorrow. 
And even the DJ invited me to come up to his booth. From there, I saw a very familiar <gasps> face. It was Christy, who was holding hands with some guy. <laughs> he certainly wasn't her brother or cousin. Judging by their passionate kiss, I took a picture of the cheater, but Christy noticed me right at the moment. She demanded me to delete the photo and keep my mouth shut. You didn't see anything, okay? On autopilot, I obediently nodded. Then hmm? it struck me. <gasps> Why the hell was that idiot telling me what to do? You know what? Go to hell! Steve deserves a better girl. Ha ha ha! Who might that be? Don't tell me it's you. I left the club and started hailing a cow. So I could go to Steve to tell him everything. Shortly after, I managed to do it. But for some reason, the car didn't pull over. It was heading straight toward me. Hmm? The last thing I remember was its color. Red. <gasps> Just like Chris's car. I woke up in the hospital for the second time that day. And, once again, miraculously got off with a mild concussion. The doctor advised me to move to a city with low traffic. Or at least be more careful. Instead, for some reason, I looked in the mirror. What I saw there was the ugly ducking that I had always been. My miraculous reincarnation ended up being a simple illusion. I spent the entirety of the next day in bed, not daring to send Steve the dirt on his cheating girlfriend. After all, it wouldn't change anything. He would never date me. He might even hate me for the bad news. Right when I was about to delete the photo, I received hmm? a call from an unknown number. Hi, so where should we meet? M meet with whom? Who is this? As it turned out, it was the guy I gave my phone number to on the street. And he wanted to go on a date. Wait, did you like me? Sure. You're cool. I've never met such a confident girl. <sighs> That's when I realized beauty is not what you see in the mirror. It's how you feel and how you present yourself that matters. I went to Steve's to tell him that I saw Christy with another guy. But I was a little too late. I know. We broke up already. It seems that Christy was arrested for hitting someone with a car outside the club she and her ex were at. Steve thanked me for being honest, but was in no hurry to ask me out. I decided not to wait for the grass to grow. Hey, I think you should get some air. Hmm? Don't you owe me a cup of coffee? Get ready. We're going right now. Remember, true beauty cannot be seen in the mirror. <laughs>